This is Man Cave Live with your host, Lexington Steele, and co-host, Andre Lavelle, and Johnny Depp on L.A. Talk Radio. Let's get it in. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Man Cave Live show with Johnny Depp to my left, Andre Lavelle yep, yep. to my right. Gentlemen, how are you this evening? Doing What's great, What's happening, bro? man? What's going on? Oh, my God. Once again, we are the Man Cave Live show here on latalkradio.com. Feel free to contact us to participate in tonight's conversation, 818-570-5085. Now, Andre, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's happened this week. Prior to us going live, we were discussing something that's been happening in the sports world. Can you um, elaborate on what uh, you what information you've acquired before we went live this evening? Oh, uh, I posted on our uh, our Facebook page, Man Cave Live, and uh, man, it seems that someone who I thought was a lesbian is now straight. She's dating a, another basketball player who uh, reportedly has uh, a contract for $145 million. So wow. maybe that's why that kind of straightened her out a little bit. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Wow. Now, now that's Bethany Griner, um, perennial all-star at the collegiate level, uh, perennial all-star at the WNBA level at 6'8". Mm-hmm. Um, she slam dunks uh, with regularity on women that um, – uh, literally crumble before her in They'll the low post. slamming each other now. Wow. Evidently, I mean, when Griner <laughs> takes it hard in the paint, you know what I'm saying? But, but, but um, what we saw as of late, um, she was an adamant uh, lesbian mm-hmm. who was dating another pro basketball player, female, mm-hmm. who was bisexual and had gotten pregnant with a man. Mm. And then they tried to go public with the fact that uh, she was uh, 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 inseminated. And then next thing you know, they had a big fight in which both uh, the ladies were arrested mm. on domestic violence charges. Mm-hmm. They came out, got once they got out of jail, they uh, nullified their, they had an annulment for their, their uh, the marriage. Mm-hmm. And so now you're telling me that she, now Beth, Bethany Griner, um, you're telling us now that she is dating She's another dating NBA, play, uh, an NBA uh, player. An NBA player, yes. 145 mil. Yeah. Wow. I mean, Bethany makes her own money. She makes great money, too. Yeah. That's really enough. They ain't at one forty-five. Yeah, they ain't yeah. one forty-five. But yeah. but who knew? I, I I mean, she had been such a proponent of being. Uh, she was one of those people that really was out front about her sexuality, and it was something that many people, sort enough within the lesbian, gay, com, lesbian, gay, and transgender community, would have been proud of, mm-hmm. and what how forthright she was. You know, I, I have one phrase: the forces of nature. Mm-hmm. It's natural. I'm not surprised that it happened. They probably all be thinking about. They don't know. <laughs> well, you, yeah, the, well, you, you know what I mean? Like, did you, know you see? On, but I, I know what you say. Like she's been in the in the in the uh, in the public with a woman. Yeah. But for her to go with a man, it does who not knows? Surprise she, it. Yeah, maybe she was sneaking around on the low. Mm. Well, I did. I did post something. This chick, she was hideously unattractive. She looked like Lil Wayne. Stop it. Without the lo- without the locks. Stop it. And she was straight butch, all tatted up, looking like a little thug stud. And she had a baby. Her and her, her homie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Hanging you know out, why? Because she's still she a woman. Knocked up. Yeah, she's still a woman. And she said, she, "Yo, she, your boy pregnant." I'm like, "If you was a boy, on. you couldn't have got yeah, you couldn't have got pregnant." <laughs> so I'm saying, even though I, I don't care how butch she appears to be, she still can carry a baby because yeah. she's still a woman. Yeah, <laughs> it's just the bottom line. Yeah, yeah. she could carry a, a baby, but if in her mind she's a dude, why does she spread her legs to take the D? Hey man, done by the forces of nature. Well, 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 <laughs> do you guys think that that the the baseline for most women is bisexuality? So even the ones that confess or profess to be you know adamant and outward lesbian um, still have a little desire. I mean, it's like we all know that yeah, most vegetarians. Yeah, it needs to be stressed. If you're a yeah, vegetarian, you yeah. see a nice sizzling steak. Yeah. See what I'm saying? You can smell from five, Every, ten yeah. feet away. Yeah. You might, you're like, wow, well, you, you, you harken back to when you had steak. Mm-hmm. When you threw a little A1 sauce yeah. on there. <laughs> see what I'm saying? Sometimes you just need to, sometimes, <laughs> some, so, sometimes you just got to satisfy your taste buds. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. I mean, and, you know, hey, that's 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 another subject for another day. I don't even want to put my <laughs> I don't even want to put my foot into it. But yeah, that's yeah. But congratulations, well, I've seen some cute man. butchers out there. So now that I know what I got a shot, I might yeah. speak up next time. Congratulations, and that on wife beater with the big double D's. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And, and and I've seen and I'm from here in L.A. I've seen when they put the dildos in their pants. Um, and the thing about it is, like, I've seen the, these butchers actually try and act like they have a package. That I don't necessarily get, but I, you know, okay. They want to be a man. Yeah. Hey, man. And they will step to you. If of you, course. If you try and shoot at one of the girls that they are, they feel that is theirs, All right. they'll step to you like a dude. And, so, yeah. and not for another. I've literally looked at one of these butchers in the eye, and I was like, it's not even worth it. Because if shit goes down... They gonna film up and the Either, cops yeah. gonna come and grab them. Yeah. yeah, but and see how it's happening. Yeah, they can switch feminine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you know, he's beating on a woman, but you acting like a dude. Yeah. yeah. Which one is it? Yeah. But so that's, no that's neither here nor there. So hey, man. But that yeah. seems to be the the thing now. I mean, there's so many videos with women swinging on dudes. What's that about? Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. They, they're stepping up, and then when they get checked, they they. Right. They cop out. Well, well now, uh, even as early as today. Because they're a woman. Yeah. Did you see today there was woman. a situation at, at a uh, Panera Bread yeah. uh, food place? No, what right? happened? Yeah, I missed the, wh- it. That, uh, uh, an employee got checked by the manager, and uh-huh. she didn't agree with it or whatever, and the oh. young lady s- swung at him, and he let her know that that ain't going yeah. down. And he hit her like... He, he hit her like one or two times, but he, he dropped her. He two-pieced her, huh? Yeah, it was like one big blow. She went down. She got up again. And then you see what he was, he was just like, swing. Well, more than likely, I mean, he yeah. looked like he's an older man. Yeah. So he probably got no, kids yeah. her age. Yeah, and it's on, like, dude. I ain't taking this from you. Yeah. My come daughter on. is. There you go. Sit yeah. on down, yeah. girl. Yeah. Go somewhere with that. Damn. Well, okay. On. Then speaking along these lines, and let's look at uh, what we saw happen not, less than, uh, not more than a week ago involving freshman uh, mm. Florida State quarterback mm. yeah. um, who was involved in a, in a Donnie Brook. Uh, with a, uh, a young woman at a bar, mm. and um, and the the is a young white woman, as a matter of fact, mm. who um, who swung on the athlete, mm-hmm. literally, and it, all this is caught on camera, mind you, people, and I'm, I'm sure you you're very familiar with this, people out there. She swung on the athlete, uh, failing to connect, and then the athlete swung back, and he was not failing at his <laughs> connection. But you know what? But but not. Yeah. But you know to add on. She was sw- she took a swing she took a swing at him and she used the n word. Yeah, but do we, is that confirmed? Because I know that was they that came up as well immediately with this was that's what they, they said that, that yeah that's what they saying yeah so now, not only she swing but in the ta- in in the video she cocked her hand first and he grabbed her hand mm-hmm. to like yo chill that out mm-hmm. and she still, still tried. swung on her so I mean it's self defense I don't know why he got kicked off the team and all yeah, that because he I hit mean, a woman they still gonna yeah. look at it that way yeah they, it's it's almost like that crazy theory you turn the other cheek. <laughs> Yo, you broke my jaw. I'm supposed to turn the other. They jaw can break that one. She can break that one too. Yeah. But see, okay, <laughs> they need to get on the same page with the feminists and equal rights people because mm. you can't have it both ways. There you mm. go. You you can't. I, I'm equal to a man. I can join the military. I can be a cop and a fireman and drive trucks. Mm. Oh, don't hit me. I'm a girl. Right. right yeah. Yeah. Even when we see instances you on still the news, can have a baby too. Is, yeah, when we see fights break out between the public and the cops, quite oftentimes, not for nothing, and I'm making experience against female cops, but what we are seeing is co- female cops uh, pulling back from the physical encounter. And uh, we saw it with the guy that, that was antagonizing the, the yeah. regular dude in, in New York, yeah. Just two weeks ago mm-hmm. or a week ago. And, yeah, and they saw did that, fist yeah. cuffs. The, guy, mm-hmm. the cop was, yeah, he was like clothes. plain clothes cops. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there was a female cop who was facing away in all blue. Mm-hmm. The officer was in all gray. Mm-hmm. And the and the public regular guy was in red. Right, right. And the, the, the lady cop didn't engage mm-hmm. once it did become physical. And so what we saw at down at, at down in Tallahassee, it begs the question, why is it that that the conversation in major media begins with the guy striking back after having been, and you know what I can say this when he was attacked by the by the young white female co-ed, he was attacked physically. Mm-hmm. He defended himself effectively, mm-hmm. and now he's the one 
this black athlete who, not for nothing, who's on scholarship and will probably may not have been able to get to a prestigious school like FSU without that athletic scholarship. I'm sure he worked very hard to get it. Now he might be back home and may not ever be able to. Let me tell you something. If you got a full scholarship as a quarterback to Florida State, let me tell you something. You got three to four years before you're going to the league. Make no mistake, this could have ruined this young man's life. And I'm simply saying, no, we should not put our hands on women. But women, if you do strike us first, are we to be faulted for striking back? And are we to be faulted that our target might be better than yours? I beg that question. A one eight five seven zero five zero eighty five. We're the man cave live. Yep. Well, depending on where you're from, right? Like I said, I was taught somebody hits you, hit them back. Man, woman, if a dog bites you, bite them back. <laughs> you know, I trip babies because <laughs> 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 that'll teach them a lesson. <laughs> hey, slow down. You know. Right. Right. So it, it it depends on. On, on your upbringing, mm -hmm. you know, if, if somebody's from another country, you can't tell them how they're supposed to conduct themselves if they're doing what they do mm -hmm. from where they're from. That's their That's culture. Their culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a lot of us, we come up in rough neighborhoods and somebody swing on you. It's just an auto reflex. Yeah. Bam. Yeah. You know? Nah, that's yeah. instinct. Common sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. Don't no, start no. none, don't be none. Let me ask you guys this question then. If... If there was perhaps a, a female patron that was on the side of the athlete and she struck the girl back for him, for her having swung at the, at the athlete, then it would have been a female-female thing. Uh, would that have been okay? No, because then she didn't have anything to do with it. Mm -hmm. So she could have had charges pressed against her. For By her. the white girl. Yeah. So then the athlete had really no rep – no, uh, what was he to do? Um, no recourse. He could, he what, no recourse. Was, what was he supposed to just suck it up? Suck it up. Like take a two piece from this uh, this drunk uh, uh, girl at a bar. And that's what they're gonna say too. Yeah. So. Unfo unfortunately. Yeah. Because it, look now, his, yeah, like you said, his career is on the line. It, yeah. I'm so sure he can't win for losing. Yeah. Because even with the police situation, the plain clothes cop, mm -hmm. dude, he just didn't want to get arrested for some BS. If I'm wrong, okay, take me to jail. But he's like, I didn't do anything. You. I, I think that they profiled won. him. Yeah, I yeah. think that and then the cop the fight. swung on him first. Yeah, he wanted to fight because he was like taking his gun off and like he squaring up like they was in a park. And like, the dude yeah. was walking away like, come yeah, on, man, go come ahead. on, man. Kept That's what I'm saying. The dude yeah. kept squaring up like, so come on, at let's what fight. point, as men, can we? I mean, it, and right, see, the, the, wrong the, is wrong, and right. that cop was wrong. Exactly. So what yeah. your badge means nothing at that point. It's man to man, mano a mano. You're going to take it there. Let's but, do this. Yeah, I mean, I'm with you on that, but in the court of law, it's so crazy because that badge protects him. Like, you put your, mm. you put your, um, your hands on the officer of, of the law. I'm like, even though he was wrong. And it's, it's he put his hands like, on me first. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like you ever seen, like, in football or, like, in basketball, like, the guy may throw the first punch, but who's always the one to get mm. caught? Yeah. Second dude. And even the laws about coming off the bench, if you come off the bench, yeah, all kind every, of you get suspended yeah, as well, so, automatically. Yeah, it's, always the second, yeah. it's always the second person who seems to get caught, not the first. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, there's a lot of attacks that happen and, and how to respond. Maybe it's generational. Ten years ago, 20 years ago, um, it might have been like, well, well, you know, to the young lady, you shouldn't have swung on a dude. Yeah. Now... In circa 2015, it's like the dude. Hey, you can. We're supposed to re receive, and, and not for nothing, people. But I do ask this question: Would this have been an issue had this been a, a uh, uh, an incoming uh, full scholarship white quarterback um, uh, versus a female white coat in a in a bar? Would we have such a, a knee jerk reaction? Um, you know, we see people harboring back to the Ray Rice situation and looking to draw a correlation between the two. Mm. But what we saw in the Ray Rice situation, we didn't see what happened leading up to when they went into the elevator, making no aspersions as to um, what may have happened. But we saw this play out in the barn. Everybody saw the same thing. But what I find it's ironic is why is that they pick up the dialogue about him swinging back on her as if he swung first. Mm -hmm. I cannot I cannot get by the fact that what every one of us saw was her swing. I think she swung twice. She or he picked grabbed her hand the up. first one. Yeah, and he grabbed her. Right. And, and then, then the she, second time yeah. she swung again, missing. And I think she might have tried to kick him in the nuts because <laughs> I saw like this little gray leg or something. Mm -hmm. So wow. I, be, be, as, as like he was grabbed her hand. 
Right. So he that might have been what he responded to. Like, you know, somebody trying to kick you in the right. nuts. That's, hey. Well, you know, it's universal law. For every action, there's a reaction. Yeah. So, Her like you say, yeah, that's just natural <laughs> instinct. If somebody hits you, your natural reaction is to either protect yourself or to swing back. Mm-hmm. You know, but again, man, it's man versus woman. You know, you know what it is, man. Yeah. And I, I will trust us, people. Yeah, you know we what get it. Is. We, we yeah. you know, we all have, have um, you know, mothers, obviously sisters. True. Um, you know, and, and uh, we, and me personally, John as well. We are in the business of 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 coitus interruptus, if you will. Um, so we are 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 very very familiar with the delicacies mm. um, that the female uh, gender provides. And we are protectorants of that as well. But when they do step over a line, I mean, I don't know how I would have reacted. You know I what say, I'm saying? Learn you some from Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, <laughs> and you ain't got to hit them, but you can put them to sleep. <laughs> Get, you know what? I think that what they was expecting is not for us to strike back, but just to like get them off of you. Like you know, like Dre said, like push them off you. Like okay, this. I think yeah. it's pushed up. But we've seen that happen yeah, where we they still push keep coming. And they keep coming. Yeah. And then it's just like, and then we get checked and we have to check them with yeah. it. And, it, you know, we could have given them just a safe forearm shiver. Right. Maybe that would have been enough to remind her that, look. Nice little palm strike between the bosom. Hit yeah. The solar plexus. Go on, girl. You know, like, step, yeah, just yeah, get step off back. me. Yeah. Exactly. You know, yeah, like and just keep said, her off me. You know, you go. Keep, Let them you know. feel the weight of the power of the palm. Yeah. <laughs> so she really. Yeah, like, oh, you ain't okay. got to smack them upside the head, but you can just keep them, get them off you. Yeah. I mean, if you it, can do that, if you can do that, man enough, they'll they'll get off you. Well, you know what? Let me ask you guys <laughs> something. Does it seem like, you know, women have in their in their attempts to gain that, you know, whether it's gain the equality that they justly deserve, certainly enough. But have we seen that go beyond the pale? Because we've seen aggressive acts by women against men, and continually we're expected to literally fold up camp and and receive all blows and beatings from female kind uh i don't buy that and Mm. i and i think that a lot of people that say that that is a fair thing uh, can't really actually believe that because if they were to if if a woman is attacked here's the thing if a woman strikes another woman Mm -hmm. was the woman that was hit supposed to not hit her back Hmm. right and i I guess they're saying at that point they're equal in power mm. as opposed to a man okay naturally a man has much more strength than a woman, because you can look at our body types. Right. Normally, the woman is a lot larger down low as opposed to a man, where well, a man is more broad up top. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So we expected I've, that. I've mm-hmm. had this debate on on in social media, and oh god, most of the people who say this, I have to acknowledge, are white Republican males. Mm-hmm. Everybody else got common sense, and it's like, don't start no shit, won't be no shit. Yeah, don't hit nobody. Keep your hands to yourself. People can defend themselves, but for some reason, you know, women can never be wrong to yeah. the Republican white male. They can do what they want to do. Well, we were watching, uh, literally, we were watching Outnumbered on Fox News in the morning, in which you have... You watch Fox News? It, we, trust we flip, me, we flip, we flip between okay. CNN and Fox News because, uh, you know, it's important MSNBC, to look at the yeah. dichotomy. Nah, you know what? It, 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 it is... But they all talk about the same stuff, right. and they all. But it's a different perspective. It's a different mm-hmm. perspective, but all in all, they all talk about the same shit. They're yeah. just serving it to you differently. Yeah. They just all talk about the same. Like you got one side that's extra liberal, and you got this side that's like super conservative, and then you got like what is it? CNN is kind of in the middle, but who knows nowadays with CNN? You know because the media, like you said, Dre, they report what they want to report, man. You know, yeah. there's there's a lot of stuff going on out there, you know, and they choose to report what they want to report. Mm-hmm. And control you got the media, yeah, control you control the, the media, mm-hmm. you control the mind. You got yeah. 24 hours. You mean to tell me you just run the same stuff over and over again? Well, see, that's why we watch all of it because in order to understand and, and express and communicate, you got to understand the mindset mm-hmm. of individuals. So you well, have to hear well, all I, parties. I, I, listen, all sides. that's true, but this is what I was telling somebody the other day, and he was talking about Fox News. I was like, okay, some social media. Somebody had posted, oh, Fox News, this, that, and the third, blah, 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 blah. And I said, okay, if it upsets you that much, why do you watch it? And this one dude was like, well, I just want to know what the enemy, blah, 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 the so-called enemy or whatever you want to call them. Mm. I said, I already know enough about what they know. They don't like you. And that's all I need <laughs> to know. <laughs> that's all I need to know because everything is negative imagery. 
Yeah. Yeah. Of of people of color when you go, you know, no matter what, yo, the dude could be walking down the street, he gets shot in the back. Oh, you know what? Maybe he was walking with a bop. Maybe what? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's always so, and you know that's gonna make your blood pressure rise. Well, speaking of, of why um, watch it? Mm-hmm. I already know how you feel about me, right? And that's all I need to know. P- bottom line, if Dre say, "Yo, Johnny, I don't like you." <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm gonna say? Okay, cool. I know where you at now. Mm-hmm. I there's no mystery anymore. Right. You know. Right. So now I know what it, I know how to deal with you, right. or if I'm gonna deal with you at all. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's exactly. it. So don't be getting mad. Oh well, I, how could the, you already know? Cut it out. That's logical. It's lo- come on. Yeah. Blood pressure all up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we gonna do this, and you ain't gonna do nothing but sit on social media and and. <laughs> Pontificate. Yeah, punching mm-hmm. a bunch of keys, and you know that's the way you want to get it off. That's cool, but don't don't play yourself. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, I like rant. I like mm-hmm. the fact that you can get different perspectives, and yeah. I find it interesting how they put the spin on things. <sighs> you know, just by changing a few words that's all it takes. to get people riled up or get Dude, them to think you, a certain way. You can and that's ma- the thing. Yeah, you know, if you like can rush Limbaugh's and all right. of them, man, it's, it's If crazy. you can master the English language, nine times out of ten, you can master somebody's mind because mm-hmm. it's all words. Perfect example, nice segue, Donald Trump. Hey, man, let's talk about it. I can't even, I can't even form my lips to, to blow a whistle. <laughs> now, this guy. Do you think it's just a, do you think this is, this behavior is done on purpose? Yes. Or do you think that it's 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 set up that way? What do you mean? Um, what Donald he, Trump? What are you saying? Because he's saying some outlandish stuff. Yeah, like but, you're but saying. he's always been like this. I think that he, you know, I think that Don, I think Donald has turned his turned his 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 vernacular and his his brand up a notch or two. Okay. Because maybe this is what it takes to corral the Republican nomination. If we. It, you know, and it's, it's it's very very much true. While we are somewhat months away from an election, mm-hmm. truly enough, the designation of a Republican candidate, uh, Donald Trump is number two amongst Republican candidates, and it seems like his rallying cry is being answered by a majority of a Amer- uh, uh, majority of Republican Americans. Well, listen, I think the question I wanted to pose to you is that the stuff that he's saying, mm-hmm. like. Do you, I mean, does he, I mean, does he have any knowledge of what he's saying or is he just spewing out comments? Because I say that to say this, I'm like, the Latino vote is very, very, very important. Oh, he, know, they over, yeah. They, look, they got more Latinos yeah. outnumber whites. I see you got it on the yeah. page right in, here. In California. In California. Uh, California is like one of the heavily populated states. Yeah. It's the second, uh, uh, in the state of California, <laughs> Latinos now um, are, number one. are number one in population, and it is the uh, New Mexico is the other well certainly not New Mexico, but look um, at this. the other state in which Latinos lead the population. They, oh. I, I just I just thought of this. Okay, he knows he's not going to win the presidency, but the rhetoric that he's spewing is. Fear mongering and, and hate mongering. He, he's he's coming off like a racist. That's and what the I'm fact saying. that he's number two. His That's money right. is in hotels and resorts. Mm-hmm. Who's going to visit those resorts? Mm. All those money afford? racist folks. Well, 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 it's hard to say that all those mm. people that, that have the money to live in a Donald Trump type of building, if you will, are racist. I, I can't draw that correlation. Well, basically, he's, he, he's pro-white uh, I, certain I, mindset. I, I think that So he's, people who are in that mindset or wants to be segregated against other people being around but, them but but okay go to his one places. might argue that is he pro capitalist and in his pro capitalistic mindset and mantra it's just a, a you know it's just a rallying cry i, I don't you know think he's more capitalist than racist no he's I, more racist from what he said about president barack obama to what he's saying about these uh, uh mexicans Given a broad spectrum, mm-hmm. saying Latinos are this, they're right. drug dealers. <laughs> yeah, and he was, here, yeah, he I was mean, bugging out. He yeah. was going off. I so like, if, wow. you, if, you, yeah. if you have melanin in your skin, don't go to Trump Towers. Don't go to his hotel. Don't do nothing with Trump. And then let his, you know, 
Duck Dynasty well, people well, come well, in. Well, like you say, may, maybe that's why. And you, like you said, like you alluded to him being number two. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's okay. number two amongst Republican. Now, uh, if he's number two, mm-hmm. what does that say about the mindset of a lot of people? If he's number mm-hmm. two, mm-hmm. exactly. That's what I'm saying. Right. So what, even yeah, though he means, he's not gonna win, he still you got he's enough himself. Yeah, yeah, that think like him. Because I mean, you got to think that. The That's sponsorship crazy. that he's lost, the TV yeah. shows, yeah, dude. all of that that he's lost, mm-hmm. he, he's got to have a plan in mind because that he he lost a major. You and know. so, and as a businessman, he no one knows the, the value of the bottom line. His bottom line is hemorrhaging. Mm-hmm. Now, I would I would also now, and he's leading. He actually has surged ahead of of uh, Trump was fifteen percent, uh, Florida Governor Jeb Bush, eleven um, percent. Wow. So uh, this is it's it's very very real. You know what's hurting Bush? That's going to change. Though. His last name. Yeah. That's the only thing that. Or, or we or we could rec- or, or maybe the fact that no one has forgotten that in order to get his brother um, another term, they went to Florida to you know say, hey Jeb, can you hook up the? Well, who do who do who do the Republicans have? They got there's about like thirty, 30 people. people. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, but, no, listen to the question. Listen, mm-hmm. to, who do they have? You got thirty people, but who are those thirty people like? Who you know? Who who are they? Like you got Doctor uh, Knucklehead, the brother, on, the black dude. Mm-hmm. He ain't got a shot. So, again, we got Governor Christie of New, of New Jersey. Yeah, and then he's he's in trouble. He's a heart with some attack. Other, yeah, he's mm-hmm. on. He's in trouble with some other stuff within right. his own state. So mm-hmm. again, the question is, who do you have? Like who who? You got Trump. And Bush. And Bush? And, and Christy. My, what's my man from, from Louisiana? The Indian dude? The Indian cat. And, and then there's another. No, he didn't have Jing a, or something. Well, I, don't, yeah. I don't know. But he, He's trying ooh, to play up his, his Caucasian. Yeah. He like, he's, yeah. he's like, yo, how can he say that? Like, you're making a mockery of the of the, of the party. Like, you need to be quiet. Yeah. I'm like, wow, dude. Like, There's but, another guy I can't remember what his name yes, is. He, that, again, that's really. Uh, again. Who? And I think he has a Latina last name, doesn't he? The other guy that's like, I don't know, he's a governor or something, or a senator. At least in the Democrats, you know there's Hillary. And then there, yeah, now. And there's Hillary and the rest. And who's the rest, even in the Democratic side, who was the rest? I mean, Hillary's going to buy a landslide. Not unless, you know, I don't know who they got. Who else is have you? Uh, have there any yet. names emerging from the Democratic? A hypothetical. It comes down to Hillary and uh, stupid-ass Trump. That's scary. That's Cause very you, scary. Because you, know, you know dudes. <laughs> Trump ain't going to win, though. No, because yeah, it's but, but, a good old boy sister. President, right, right, right. President yeah, like, Trump. I don't hey, want hey, no hey, woman not for nothing, but, but when it, nah. Exactly. When it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, will because And I've asked women this before. Will they rally behind Hillary just because she's a woman? Women will say, women can say, ah, no. Black people, we say, fuck yeah, as far as with Obama. I don't know any black people that we, not, people, let's be frank. I'm going to be frank with you. Mm-hmm. Yes, we all voted for Obama because he was, less, I, I, it didn't matter what he said. I was voting for it Obama. It was just good to see somebody that looked like you. It, it was the truth be told, right? That's real talk. And, but will women rally uh, behind Hillary? Hillary. And in my, in my <laughs> humble opinion, I would say that they should, from the standpoint that she may be the most ready because look how long she's been in, or if not in the White House, around the White House. Yeah, dude. She was, I don't know. She was supposed to win it a few times, but you, they cut that short. But you know, that's another story. But I don't see Trump winning it. Okay, but will he? Will Will Trump be able to rally male America a enough certain, to unseat a, a, the a, unseat of Hillary a Clinton? Certain, He'll a probably c- say something stupid. A certain a certain portion. <laughs> Of America, but let me tell well, you Will that something. be enough to defeat? She won't be yeah. able to go to the meetings nah, to see you, the rest because of you gotta, the world. You got you gotta to think of something. You <laughs> got to think of something. See something stupid. She'll be on her period. You got she to, won't you you say got, something stupid. You got the you got the blue collar man worker that goes out there every day, and he's the person that that's voting. Right that, now, will he know, vote for Hillary or will he vote for? I think Trump? he'll vote more so for Hillary because Hillary was more Hillary is more relatable. You know, Donald Trump's not relatable to a blue collar worker. No, but let me ask you: When these guys have the Maybe guys that are building, in his hotel, you're building a skyscraper up, and you're you know right. then you, you know then you have your lunch hour, right? You're right. going, you're sitting there, you're eating your lunch, and hot women are walking by, and you're whistling, you're whistling to hot women as they walk by. Is that dude going to be like, you know what? I could take a skirt to be my president. That same guy will choose a vote for Trump just because he's still a man. You think so? so? I'm, yes, I'm really worried that that. 
Well, you know what? That's crazy because you got to think about who has the best qualification. Let me ask you. I believe nobody Hillary. cares about qualification. Yeah, but you know what? But here's the thing, though. Here's my thing. They looking at job creation. But He's listen, gonna say, "I built. Listen, I've me, owned businesses. I, I know get, how to create listen, jobs. Look, I will build towers across this country. Look, check I'm gonna this build out. A, check this out. A Casinos. Check and this. Yeah, I'm gonna build a wall in Mexico. Right. All that's all that's good. But let and me I'm tell you something. I'm gonna need something. you people to work yeah. on that wall. All these mm. all these businesses that he that he got. Let's remember something. His track record. He ran a lot of those businesses into the ground, though. Let's not forget about that. So you want to have that man? If you, if you know he he's gonna run a, 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 a Fortune 500 company into the ground, what the hell you think he's gonna do to the country? Well, well, I I think that with Trump, I think his experience shows that if you have ten deals on the table, would you vote for Trump? Me personally, yeah. In the absence of a Hillary Clinton, a Hillary or Trump. Uh, me personally, I would. I think Donald has revealed himself on a personal level that was necessary. While it is necessary, it is indeed damning. So no, I could not vote for Trump after having him have diarrhea of the mouth just last week. But if you're just looking on merits alone, I would say that if a guy has ten major deals on the table, mm -hmm. maybe four of them fail, mm -hmm. maybe four of them go through, maybe two of them flourish. Mm -hmm. You know, we 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 tend to forget the four that failed. You know, the four that maintain are just that, and the two that are successful, we laud him for that. See, and know, Americans and are really stupid, if you really put if I, if I can say this. Americans are stupid. Arnold Schwarzenegger was the governor oh, of California. Think about celebrity, that. Celebrity. In and of itself. Celebrity. It's, like, it's mind-boggling. The Kardashians, no talent. They're Zero. everywhere. So Donald Trump has had a TV show. He's got his name on in Vegas on a tower. In New People Jersey City. Vote for him. I mean, you know, just he's yeah, he's a celebrity. City. That's right. a celebrity. But here's my thing: when it's time to talk to on some foreign on some foreign mm -hmm. policy, where's he going to stand? Because let me tell mm -hmm. you something: Ronald Reagan was an actor. No, no, no. Hold on. <laughs> let me let me let me tell you something. If it's about money, it's about he, charisma and charm. See, he he ain't got and Trump don't have it. He got a bad toupee. That's the only thing he probably got going for him. But as far as like Trump may have money. But when you go over there talking to them Saudis and all them, right. that's another level of but money. But he's a businessman. He knows how to sit across from somebody yeah, and that, give him the so eye. So would you vote yeah. for him? Hell no. Okay. No, but but <laughs> that's the thing about it is, is when it does come time, I, I have to say this, and, and forgive me, I, but it's an honest thought. I do think that Trump has some of the cojones that is necessary to be shown that maybe perhaps we have not seen in a way that most of America would like to see. I think he's going to show America a way that a lot of people will, will be like, that's what I want to Man, see. In their mind, they want America to go back to the, the 50s, okay? And that's the mindset that he's got. He's, he's well, you know what? no if nonsense, that's the case, and they're going to vote for him. If that's the case, you got to bring him back manufacturing jobs because that's the 50s. That's what this mm. country was built on. And then if he professes that he can successfully do it, and a lot of people will believe that he can, right? I don't know. Now, it here's another thing, to be too. Seen. Two things. Now, no, most people are like, okay, well, is it possible that we could, re we just had a black president. Is it possible now that we have a female president? I would remind people that a number of G8, G, albeit G20 countries, a number of them have females as their leader. Yeah, and, and the Queen historically, of England. Yeah, but the Queen what? of England is not. Uh, parliament runs England. Yeah, I'm talking and, about like, uh, I'm talking about Germany. Like, okay, like, uh, like, like, like Congress and all them runs America, not the president, he's just the figurehead. But go ahead, finish. Well, well, well finish Queen of point. England, Queen of England, is different. That okay, Queen of England versus uh, I forgot what their uh, who's prime, their minister. prime minister, prime minister, right? yeah, yeah. the prime minister. And if we look at Germany, who's had female presidents right. throughout, you know, yeah. we have major countries that have shown that it, it, that being a president does have does not have to be gender. Well, but what's the what? new dude I, over I there? Putin, of, what's his name? Vladimir Putin, Putin right? Vladimir he's a hard ass. Eh? He's but, gangster. But you know yeah. what? I think I think America has always and will always be a boys' club when it comes to politics. Okay. I don't think Putin would do. give Hillary no play at all. He would diss her. And see, and that, mm. and see, and that's that, it, it's so it, you know. It's so crazy, man, because you got two two of these candidates, and and I'm always looking at like, okay, I know, I know how we're gonna view you as far as like in the states, but what are you, how how are you gonna conduct yourself, and how are they gonna view you when you go across the water? Mm -hmm. Because you got some of those countries like, well, you, we, we, we don't, don't even deal with women. There you go, and especially That's in the, the point in, I was making, you go, right? That, right yeah. Or mm. or or you have someone who's a celebrity. And they'd be like, you know, you got some people like, you know what? He's a celebrity. Right. You know, we're not going to take him serious. Mm. Or they just, they, they might just be enamored with the fact that they're a celebrity and give them a little, I mean, uh, uh, 
What's his name? They've been over to, to Korea how many times? Who, Rodman? Rodman. Rodman. He might have kept him from dropping a bomb. We don't know. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he did, but he ain't gonna. We don't see, He ain't gonna run the country. He just. No. He, he did, that cat just happened to like basketball. That's yeah. what that was. <laughs> All right. Now, now we've got two more things I want to cover. Real, if we could, um, we do have South Carolina governor signing off the removal of the Confederate flag uh, from she the was state emotional capitol. Emotional too. That lady in Congress was emotional. She was right. crying and everything. She should be. And you they saw said that? she was a great. Uh, yeah. great great granddaughter of some major Confederate general. Wow. And uh, it was you know, it's wonderful that, you know, that she understands why that flag needs to be taken down. Well, um, I'm glad they took it down. But yeah. my thing is, but you know what? Congratulations to South Carolina for getting the flag taken down, but that still is not gonna change the mindset and the behavior of the people and that's all I have to say. But congratulations. Yeah. Though. And the fact that most of them would probably vote for a Trump let you know that <laughs> because <laughs> you know what changed. you know and i understand them taking mm -hmm. off the capital that's all well and good but like we spoke before if you travel around the towns and all that people they don't have them in their front yard oh yeah. man i mean it, it, as we were watching this morning while yeah, we we're training that's what i'm saying there it's, were cars the driving mindset. by with people with yeah, the flag yeah dude it's, yeah, it's still the, that, and, that state still has that mindset yeah and you can't tell the guy driving his car with the flag coming out of his car yeah. that he has to take right the flag right, down. right right so you can take it off the state capitol building that's cool but you can't take it out of the, the heart but, of the people. but let me ask you this people is it a case where the people from that region of the United States, how come they cannot express their pride in, in where they're from and the, the historical background of where they're from? They can be proud of that in some ways, and how come they can't express it? That is what they will argue. I'm you know what? I because see, I see what you're saying, but you know what? Not to cut you off, Dre, but if you want to be proud of something, is that something to be proud of? True that, right. Right. But if you want to be proud of that, that's your business. <laughs> and that's a problem but I, in itself. Yeah, but I yeah. wouldn't want you, you understand. And what you lost. Saying? So therefore, And you lost. Yeah. Yeah. But I was you want to be proud of losing? Okay. There was a fine. there was a uh, uh a video from the fourth of July where somebody wanted to show their pride and they got stumped out in the park. Yo, I saw that. <laughs> so Yo, my man was at the joint <laughs> with the I'm like, how are you gonna come to a cookout and my man was waving the rebel? It was flag? a what, what kind of cookout was it? It was, it was just a, a, it was some, something in the park. Yeah, fourth of July barbecue. It was just a big park and Kid people got were there. Stomped and out. They knocked his ass out. <laughs> stomped so them out. That it is the way to get people to check their ass. It's like, okay, I'm proud. And then a couple people say, you could be proud, but if you don't take that shit down, you're going to get stomped out. Something right. as that. And like I say, again, if you have pride in that, rebelling from the Union, losing the war, you know, it, wanting slavery, want, you know, want to make money off of, of human labor for free, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Because if that's what your history entails, mm -hmm. you deserve to get stomped out. <laughs> oh well, yeah, that's another note. But I'm saying, but but is that all your history entails? I'm talking about specifically in the South. Yeah, is that all your history entails? Nothing good. Seems like it's all bad. Mm -hmm. The remembrance is only uh, fond to a f for a few people, right? Or a percentage of. Uh, well, now Texas is trying to rewrite that history and, and uh, trying to soften it up. Uh, I'll talk about that next week. No, they're, no, hit it because they're they're, they're changing history books to soften up things so that slavery is not as bad and they don't look as bad. Really? So, yes. They're removing like re man. Parts the damage of is already done. Yeah. Like I said, because he who you, controls the media controls the true. mind, and they can right. write history the way they yeah. choose to. See, you, but you know what the difference is now is that we're in the age of Google, mm. so you can challenge that. As opposed to when we were in school, you mm -hmm. couldn't challenge it. Whatever was in that book, that's what right. you thought was the truth. But now you can dig a little. You can you can dig a little deeper. And boom, you know, do -do -do -do. Yep. punching slavery or whatever, and all types of stuff come on, and it, it's mind blowing. So there's no excuse nowadays. But, but how many of us are into technology? Because oh, this millennial generation, this millennial generation, very much so. Mm. I'm talking about us. Yeah, Cause that's Wikipedia, because Wikipedia, anybody can put something on Wikipedia. It doesn't have to be true. Right. How many people do the research? You see yeah, Facebook true, stuff true. all I mean, the time. I look at my it's Wikipedia. I'm yeah, like, holy yeah, shit! That's like, yeah. that's know. the same so, thing. That's the same thing in a book, Drake. Right? Mm. Like, how do how do we know that stuff was true? But a book is different because people spent money to have that printed and put out there to. I masses. understand that, but it, but it, but if it's not factual and it's not true, it's still bad. 
I don't Bible care how much was, money you the put. The Bible has been given oh, to millions. I, I don't want to jump I, into that. We can talk about that. We can I, talk, I, I, I don't want to talk about that. So yeah. just because I ain't gonna talk book. about that right now. <laughs> just because it's a book, <laughs> don't mean it's true. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So and you know, but anyway. But even, even if we do see a rewriting of of books for 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 students in Texas, mm-hmm. and, and and people can still access all the information by just by going online and saying researching for yourself. Right. Right. Um, it, it's 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 interesting because we have to note that. Um, as people who study history at the collegiate level, it's so true that there's so much of history that you you will never learn mm-hmm. unless you're in a post high school graduate or post high school education. Right. So uh, so it's almost a very it's a very bad thing if they're even making it even lighter because there's so much that I would not have known as black men we would not have known about our own history mm-hmm. had we not went beyond just reading what you're given in the, up to twelfth grade exactly. and now they're watering it down even farther. Yeah. Uh, increasing the distance between ourselves and the understanding of our of our place um, and historically. Basically, the way it's set up in schools, you were slaves. Then there's Martin Luther King. That's it. Yeah, that's what <laughs> you get. Yeah. You may get a, you may get a little a little picture of Malcolm. Maybe a little picture, but for the most part, is yeah, slavery and Martin, like whatever. Yeah. And then you get some Jim Crow in there, like you know. But we we need Jim to, Crow. Ju- like yeah, Jim Crow. We need to dive into Cosby a little bit, man. You know what, what, what what's what's going on? Are we surprised? Of 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 the behavior of Mr. Cosby, Mr. Dad. Oh yeah, I I, I mean look, you know the I, dad of the '80s. You know, is is what I find very interesting is a lot of the people that are are you know, it's, what Bill did is seemingly irreprehensible, but I I think it's crazy that people forget that drug use and sex have been hand in hand since the beginning of time, and. I got a question. I, I will question the fact that all these women saying that all each and every last one of them were drugged without them knowing it. Because a lot of times when drugs and sex come in, come into play, both parties are taking the same drug. So no one, you know, maybe did Bill take the same drug, and then maybe the sex was mutual. Maybe it wasn't. But all these women that complain, that are saying that they were given something without them knowledge, their knowledge, I get that. But some of them may have took the drug um, with Cosby. And we all know, like, hey, you know, it's just, drugs are social uh, social accelerants. And I, I would add, okay, mm-hmm. if he did it, he gets his day in court, whatever. He's 77 years old, whatever. Those women went into a hotel room or wherever they went with a married man. They knew he was married for whatever reason they were going to meet with him. So they weren't as innocent either, man. That's like, you know, the chick that got Mike Tyson locked up. You know what time it is, man. Come on. Well, a lot of those things, you know, I think was like uh, uh, personal reads and, you know, acting. You know, acting games. I wish, you know what, not not because of the G. I wish Uh these women, and and I'm not, you know, the victims do not deserve to be continually victimized. Mm -hmm. I wish some of those women would just come out and say, look, I'd have fucked them anyway. It say that, and then we could add a little bit more credence and merit to what you're saying. We get that Bill may or may not be a monster, but you cannot sit up there and tell me that you would not have had sex with him. He admit that you would have had sex with him had even whether or not he introduced the use of a quaalude. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you. And they won't that. admit that, but they would have done that. Beverly Johnson, you tell me you would not have fucked Bill that night. I don't. You know what it is. You know. What the, I dare you. You know the whole thing is. You know. <laughs> yeah. You know what makes him just look so monstrous mm. is that okay. On one end, he's playing this. He's this philanthropist. Mm-hmm. He's giving all his money to colleges, and he has a TV show, and he talks about raising kids and blah 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 blah. It's almost like a Jekyll and Hyde. Right. Right. And then you got Hyde. He's like okay. He's giving the girls. But that quaaludes. shows he's human. He likes but, but pussy. You know, he want to fuck. I, I okay, nobody's I, no, an angel. Listen, I understand. He's giving money I, listen, to kids or whatever. I understand that. I understand that. And at that, night he want to fuck. No, I understand that. <laughs> we all men. But mm. I'm talking about public perception. Right, right. And, you know, you got kids and their parents. Like, oh, Mr. Cosby's right. the greatest. Da, 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 da. He's putting pop. The whole mm. jello, the whole nine yards. Right. So for him to come out and say that he did this. That looks bad on him. And he did the pound cake uh, speech. And, well, and you know what he was talking about, yeah. 
and, and he was so, pounding the cakes. Yeah, he's, he was he's pounding the cakes, right? <laughs> Talking, you know, just like down in like every uh, black family, like you need to. Raise. And some of it was true, right? But it's the way he came off, like I'm better than you, but mm, condescending, but, right? The condescending. condescending. Now, see, that's right. what I, so that's I, the I, thing. Yeah, but that's the thing. That's what makes it look so bad. The dad mm. and shows. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The kids and right. donate money. Okay, that's good and fine. He lost me when he started talking all the crazy stuff for down in like yeah, and see, and that, and that's, that's one that, of the that's, and that's what caught him up. That's right. why the judge released his stuff. Right. Yeah, you know, see. it's like you want to, and, and it's kind of like, well, who died and left you, there you spokesperson go. for Black America? Right. And he kind of assumed that mantle, and it turns he out that, that he was himself. As, and he was as monstrous as, as but anybody. That was a, a fault on his uh, his legal team too, because they didn't have those records sealed. Mm. Hey man, somebody dropped the ball there. You know what? And they said he admitted to it under oath. He no, he admitted that he bought drugs for sex. He didn't say I bought drugs because I'm a rape some bitches. He didn't and, say that. And then, but when, the way it sounds though, the, well, the well, word. And then who his lawyer, buy stuff? right? And then the next question was, did you give those women? His lawyer that's, instructed that's him to I'm not saying. respond. That, that right. Question. That's my right. Thing. So there because, is some legal. Because the judge would say this. Okay, Lex, you said you bought drugs for sex. Okay, so what were you gonna do with those drugs? Were you gonna have? Were you gonna take the drugs, or were you gonna give those drugs to the woman to have sex? Okay, and the lawyer do you, like, don't answer that question. Yeah, right. they, who ha, do you have exactly. a bar in your house? Do you buy alcohol and invite a woman over and you pour in drinks for sex? Yes. There you go. But so I, because you have that alcohol and that bar, listen, you're a rapist. But no. no. But listen, but drugs and sex in the same sentence. Mm. Terrible don't combination. Sound, it don't sound good, B. Right. That's like mustard and peanut butter. Right. The 70s, that's all they did was do a line. I, yeah, we, we understand uh, We understand that, but what I'm mm. saying to the public. You, you, you must have done that a time or two. No, no. <laughs> I watch a lot of movies. But the consensus <laughs> of the friend. public is right. like, yo, yo, dude, you got some nerve yeah. to sit here and tell us that we ain't this, that, and the third. For years. Rate. For years, and me, what, you've been a monster. Literally. Mm. And we know that goes down in Hollywood because they said there was no secret in Hollywood. Like, yeah, 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 Bill known for that. Bill, they said, yo, my man had the briefcase with the pills, like different color, different departments. Like, wow. yeah, go ahead and take some of this. But yeah. everybody was doing pills. I mean, Elvis was a pill popper. Yeah. People mm. taking you know, pills. We know, That's what they but, did. but you know what? Elvis never claimed to be all goody two shoes either. Yeah, those blue suede shoes. We know, you know we know blue- Elvis was a racist. We know that. We know, but we he know, never meant to Yeah, to yeah, you know what I mean? But, but we knew we knew what Elvis was. We knew Elvis wasn't no role model because when he was rolling his hips around in the fifties, it right, was right. like, oh my God, that's you Satan. Know the wind was raised. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Bill Cosby put it out there like, yo, you know, black colleges and philanthropists and I'm this and yeah. I'm, raise your kid and your man in this give me pip. Yo, yeah. put this in here. And I, one of the <laughs> one drink this. <laughs> one of the people that described as sexual enslavement, whereas if you use a quailu, the woman is incapacitated right. and th- thereby a slave to your sexual advances. Um, Billy ain't got no game. That's why. That's why I beg the question. I, most of these women, <laughs> I, I just wish that the women would have admitted that. Look. Bill didn't need to drug me. I would have had sex with him yeah, for but, free, see, and, and that's but he the, did it anyway. Right. Why did he drug them? What, yeah. what was, why? Why? Could you think to yourself, okay, if you're going to drug a person, you too, it's, it's, you're probably thinking like, well, you know what? I can't get this on my own power. Right. So I'm going to have to like, you know, that's why I do slick Mickey's and girls drink. So it's Even today, easy. roof and all, yeah. uh, MDMA. Okay. What about Camille? Damn, her, her. We can't say nothing about But you know what? Camille wasn't giving you know up the pussy. He had to get it someplace to go. <laughs> All right, but listen, people. he got Camille when she was a baby. She's a teenager. As we prepare to wrap up this well, week's Kelly edition of the Man Cave, <laughs> we do want to make sure you know where to find us. JD, with you first, where can people find you? Huh? Oh, keep putting pop <laughs> <laughs> www.formular3.com. It's coming to stores. The sales are doing well. You keep supporting it, and we'll keep supporting you. Formula R3, Raj, Rock and Restore. She'll love you in the morning. I mean, you yeah. buy that, you definitely buy it. Go get it. Sex. <laughs> Go get it. No, you buy an enhancer. You don't need the, you don't need to drug the woman with that. And besides, it's a natural supplement. That's it's all right. plant-based. All right. Bill was drugging them. <laughs>
<laughs> PCWFit.com. Talk about it. Facebook, PCW Fit, Instagram. Everything is PCW Fit, baby. Ah, Everything let's get Johnny Depp over here. They, they, oh, by the way, they, they hacked my Twitter account, so I'm working on that. Oh, that's right, because it didn't, it was, uh, yeah. They I saw hacked that. me, so I'm working on that. Okay. But Johnny Depp is still here, so it's all good. Well, people, I want to thank you for joining us tonight here on Man K Live on LATalkRadio.com. I'm your host, Lexington Steele. For all the good people here on Man Cave, thanks again. We'll see you next Thursday night. I'm at Lexington 11. We'll see you soon. Have a good week. Stay safe. Peace. Two fingers. Yeah, that's the thing. Great job. From our perspective, this is Man Cave Live. With your host, Lexington Steele. And co-host, Andre Lavelle. And Johnny Depp. On L.A. Talk Radio. Let's get it in.